Yo, what is going on? It is Ben Say Sama here today to give you guys another One Piece discussion. I uh, hope everybody's doing good during these trying times. But um, before I get into this One Piece discussion, you know, uh, with Act 3 coming to an end seemingly within the next couple of chapters, right? Um, before we get into the intermission chapters, I wanted to get a series of discussions out. Uh, concerning those events but before i get into those videos i wanted to lead it off with this one so uh you know let me get right into this i think it's safe to say that the theme of the new world is the throne wars when we first came into the new world we learned the law of the land you either take the umbrella of Yonko or you constantly challenge one to survive we get to see both sides of the spectrum through the eyes of the supernova as the Straw Hats travel through the New World, Drake, Capone, Kid, Law, and Luffy, just to name a few, and among that few, some even flirt with both sides of the spectrum, such as Capone, Drake, I mean, we see Capone learning the innards of Big Mom's crew, the workings of them, joining up with Luffy as soon as someone comes to whole cake that shares a similar interest. And then Drake is a part of the Marines. Uh, who knows what his objective is? As Dofi predicted, locking them up would only stir things into complete chaos, inevitably leading to the throne wars, because it was him that was keeping the monsters of the world at bay with all of his dealings of the underground. We see the, we, we see the aftermath of this firsthand in Wano, when CP0 has to deal directly with Orochi now. So... Dofi had his hand in dealing with the Yonko, dealing with the world government, and sometimes even the Marines in certain cases. And after Dofi was knocked out of the picture, you know, uh, Kaido, Big Mom wanted to come look after people that's uh, that's responsible, even a little time pirates. I mean, you saw you saw people coming after Luffy after um, after Luffy was leaving Dressrosa. Uh, Fujitora dropped the rubble on them. So anyhow. Fast forward a few hundred chapters, and the supernova are allying with each other to take out the biggest fish in the throne wars first, being the Yonko. And after they are out of the way, I assume the supernova will then fight amongst themselves and other factions as we get into the final part of the series. So, I see them fighting the Marines. Obviously, uh, I expect to see certain supernova fighting against certain supernova. Um, most definitely, most definitely Luffy versus Kid. Um, I know the Kid is going to do more in this fight against Kaido, but, uh, I'll save that for another video because I definitely want to talk about that more in depth. But anyways, going into the final stretch of the series and with the Yonko finally out of the way, that leaves room for other factions to insert themselves. The Supernova, along with the Marines, aren't just going to fade into the background. They're going to have a much, more pro a much more prominent role moving forward. We have so many plot, but, but specifically I want to focus on the Marines. We have so many plot points surrounding the Marines, like S.W.O.R.D. and the Marine presence in Wano, the aftermath of the Reverie, SSG and the abolishment of the Warlord system. As we know, the Marines aren't just satisfied with reigning over the Paradise side of the Grand Line. They even want to extend the reach of their jurisdiction to the New World as well. Which is why the new Marine Ford was moved to the New World. The Marines are reportedly stronger post-time skip than they were pre-time skip. And of course, Akainu is a large driving force behind that with his absolute justice and all. The world government agreed to the abolishment of the warlord system with the intent to replace it with SSG. Now what I believe to be included in the plans of the Great Cleansing is that the world government wants to get rid of the three great powers that are not directly allied with the world government. The world government wants to keep things in-house. They don't want to rely on pirates any longer. So, you know what they're going to be also advocating to fall. So, Fujitora was advocating for the warlord system to crumble. Now, I think the world government, the Goro say, will kind of advocate for uh, f for the Yonko system to crumble as well. 
So the Warlord system call was made after the Warlords had been reduced to about half of their members, plus pl plenty of other grievances from Crocodile, Dofi, blase, blase, blah. Big Mom and Kaido will lose their positions because of the battle on Wano. Let's, let's not get that misunderstood. I think that two Yonko are going down. So what is that? That's around half of the Yonko members as well. Now, just as we saw with the aftermath of Whitebeard, after Whitebeard was defeated, I'm assuming that we're going to see something to that effect of Kaido and Big Mom. Surely, two Yonko going down, we're going to see the effects of that throughout the entire One Piece world. Okay? We'll see pirates from all over rushing to claim territory that once belonged to Kaido and Big Mom. Although there will be a couple of things different. As Law pointed out, the only one that really did anything after Marine for it was Blackbeard. He started to take over territory, and he also started to go after Devil Fruits, Devil Fruit hunting. And even with all that, coupled with his role in Marine Ford, he wasn't declared to Yonko until after the Payback War, which was during the time skip, which was what, a year after there wasn't a Yonko. So there's three Yonko left, right? Before one was actually declared one. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. We weren't around during the time skip. So we don't know what uh, Shanks, Big Mom, and Kaido were referred as. But I would still say that they were called emperors. Right? And there was obviously two people I'd say that probably had the highest chances of becoming a Yonko. Which were pointed out by the Gorosei. Marco um, or probably Blackbeard right okay so keep that in mind right just just keep that in mind please as shakes hinted at right before wano started he will meet luffy soon after wano luffy will be a mighty pirate a fully recognized yonko multiple countries around the world will start to take up the flag of the straw hats and when we see some of these islands approached by pirates we may see some of them taken over but we will also see some of them cower in fear at the side of the straw hat flag. So instead of waiting a year, right? A year for another Yonko to be crowned. Luffy will be crowned a Yonko directly after Wano. Directly after Wano. I mean, you have what Luffy did in Whole Cake Island. Then couple that with everything or couple that from dress rosa punk hazard whole cake island then wano boom luffy luffy is definitely most definitely going to be crowned a yonko after this so i'm guessing we will see this result in places like dress rosa drum island alabasta fishman island and other countries that the straw hat pirates have impacted on their journeys thus far Luffy will have the territory and also the notoriety from not only his past, but this legendary battle of Onigashima. So the reason why I bring that up, once again, I'm drawing a correlation to Blackbeard, right? Blackbeard wasn't and Bla Blackbeard wasn't declared as a Yonko directly after Marine Ford, and I would take that as as the crowd or, you know, the people looking at it as Blackbeard wasn't a part of the entire battle of Marine Ford. So getting that clout of the payback war under his belt and overwhelmingly defeating the Whitebeard Pirates, that was the straw after uh also after getting islands. Well Luffy has done both, right? Luffy has gathered islands and now he's getting the clout of a major battle under his belt. Alright? Now anyhow the Marines know that Big Mom and Kaido are in Wano and have had this information for a while. As I already said, the Marines want to extend their jurisdiction, so I think like many pirates will do, the Marines will also go to different countries around the world and will assert their presence, maybe run off pirates or be there to protect the islands even further, just like we saw Garp do um, whenever or after Marine Ford with the Goa Kingdom. Unlike previously before, when Whitebeard was defeated, the Marines were directly involved, so they couldn't scramble to keep the pirates on the seas in check. This time, they aren't really a part of the battle on Onigashima, 
so they can mobilize and regulate the seas after such a major event. Going forward in the story, all that is left is Blackbeard, the Marines, and the world government. And some of the supernovas, however, uh, however, the end of this battle with Kaido and the, the, the end of the battle with Wano is. I still have reserved judgments on that. But like I said, future videos, future videos. I'm expecting to see the Marines against some of the supernova, former warlords, and even possibly against Marines that don't share the same sense of justice. The Throne Wars ends when someone gets the Raftel and takes on the world government. We got a long ways to go till that happens. Let me know what you guys think about this. Will Tu Yonko be defeated? Can you see the Marines and the world government having a more prominent role going forward? Write it down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out. Hope you guys have a great day.